Hey, what's up, guys? Nixby one HD here, and welcome back to another episode of my F2 2020 uh, career mode with Calamino. And in today's episode, we have got the final race of the season around the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, around the Yas Marina circuit. So, before we get into qualifying, make sure you drop a like on the video if you are enjoying this series. Make sure you subscribe for more, and let's get into the final qualifying session of the F2 2020 Calamino career mode. Here we go. Right, okay, here we are then, qualifying day, here around the Yas Marina circuit, here around Abu Dhabi. So, let's just jump straight into it. I have actually done a bit of a test recording before I before I have recorded this video to make sure everything is working as it should be. So, let's get into the final qualifying session of the F2 career mode with Callum Ilo. Here we go. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen the last, if you guys did miss the last episode of the F2 career mode with Callum I not, uh, if you guys did miss the penultimate race of the season around the Sochi Autodrome, around the Russian Grand Prix, I would definitely recommend going back and checking that one out. And uh, unfortunately, my commentary uh, for for the video actually uh, corrupted, so I had to do a post commentary for for that one. So. What I've done, what I've been doing ever since that happened is I've been doing a bit of a test recording uh, before I record different videos just to make sure that it's working as it should be and um, and uh, yeah, so yeah, we're all good, so hopefully, hopefully the live commentary will be okay for this final episode, but uh, rounding the final corner, rounding the penultimate corner, here we go, rounding the final corner now, around the Yas Marina circuit. Is it going to be pole position for the final race of the season? Yes, it is. Jolly, really well done. That was a fantastic drive. As we wind down from the excitement of qualifying, here's a look at your top three. Ilox, Ashishita and Marcus Armstrong. The grid is set then, so that just leaves the race itself. Join us tomorrow where we'll be live with all the action. Until then, goodbye. So there we go then, we do take pole position for the feature race tomorrow and uh, uh, we qualify, we take pole with uh, Nubahara Masushita in P2 and Marcus Armstrong in third and our teammate Joe Guan Yu qualifying in a very impressive sixth place. So let's get into the feature race here around the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Here we go. It's race day for our young drivers here in the United Arab Emirates where the Yas Marina circuit is about to play host to the Abu Dhabi Formula 2 race. Let's get started. Yas Marina circuit is a 3.4 mile racetrack built on the man-made Yas Island. In addition to the 21 corners, it features two very long straights. And these will be the driver's main overtaking chances today into turn 8 and turn 11. I'm sitting here emotional next to my friend Davide Valsecchi. Here we are at the end of the F2 calendar and the atmosphere is electric. I have no doubt the drivers will be giving it everything they have out there today. I can't wait to get underway. Hey Alex, you are absolutely right. It's a very special place. This is a track like no other. An event like no other. A jewel in the crown of Formula 2. It's perfect. I think we are in for a fantastic racing event here. Here are the driver grid positions for today's race. Callum Ilot has a good view of turn one from his pole position spot. And Nobuhara Matsushita completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Armstrong. He 
Schwartzman, Dan Deruma, and Joe, Alessi, Sata, Sonoda, Felipe Dragovic, Delatre, Lunga, Guillermo Samai, and PK, Aiki, Tikta, Yotta, and Artem Mark, Nisani, and Mick Shu, Galeo, and Nikita Mazepin starts from the back of the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down. Right, okay, here we are then, ready, down on the grid, ready for for the final feature race of the season here around Abu Dhabi. So, let's just jump straight into it. And of course, what we have got to remember, this is the old layout of Abu Dhabi. So we've got eight laps ahead of us for the feature race, waiting on the five red lights. And it is going to be lights out, and away we go. So we're going to go down into the first corner. And we do hold the lead, which is good. Masushita trying to have a little look for a move, but we are gonna we are gonna hold on ahead of the Japanese driver. Honestly, I much prefer prefer the new layout of Abu Dhabi. I really, really do. Okay, round we go. Okay, copy. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully my live commentary will work will work for this final uh, episode. But yeah, really, honestly, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for the incredible support on this series. It has been so much fun. I really have enjoyed this uh, this F2 career mode series. And the next series we will be doing on the channel will be our. Uh, so replacing the Calamino career mode will be our F2, uh, not F2, our, um, our F1 2021 McLaren career mode. And then after season four of the My Team career mode, we will be starting our 2014 uh, Lotus career mode, which I'm really excited about. And, um, and also we are going to be coming back to F1 2020 for one final time. We will be doing the uh, classic championship uh, which uh, I'm really excited about I cannot wait to get into that so we will be taking the Williams FW14 uh, B car and uh, competing in the uh, classic championship mode on the get on F1 2020 um, on F1 2020 uh, on F1 2020 so yeah really excited about that <coughs> So yeah, I believe that. So yeah, there's 12 races in the championship, and uh, I am actually currently doing the championship off camera. We are. I am driving as. Uh, I am driving the 2009 uh, Braun GP car. So yeah, really, am thoroughly enjoying enjoying that. Round we go. But. Um, so yeah, the next time next time we will be driving the F2 cars will be the start of our will be the start of our um, our McLaren career mode, which uh, which I'm actually really excited to redo again on the channel. We are going to be doing the full F2 season, and uh, we have joined the McLaren Driver Academy, and we have joined Carlin. And uh, when we get our, when we get a seat with McLaren, we will be. Uh, teaming up with with Lando Norris at McLaren. Go. But yeah, hopefully our teammate uh, Joe Guan Yu can <coughs> can can get some points today. Okay, into the breaking zone we go. So far, oh. Okay, another fast snap for us. That's what we like to see. Into the braking zone. And uh, so, uh, yeah, really excited for F1 24 coming out, and um, 
and uh, if you guys haven't seen the latest episode of the of the My Team Career Mode that we did from the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix around the streets of Jeddah, I would highly recommend going back and checking that out. Really, really am thoroughly enjoying that series. It's been a lot of fun. Really, really have thoroughly enjoyed. Really am thoroughly enjoying the My Team Career Mode. Really excited. Uh, and of course, season four is going to be the final season of, of, of the My Team Career Mode. And then, and then, uh, like I said, we are going to be starting our, our Lotus Career Mode. Which, uh, yeah, really, really excited to jump into that. I cannot wait for that. So we've got a nice two second lead over over Masushita. Oh. Big, big, big lock up. take out, I hope I didn't take out the Rolex sign. No, I just missed it thankfully. Okay. I am all over the place here. Right, come on, let's see if we can try and gather it up. Round we go, round we go. And uh, also, F124, really excited for the new game coming out later on, later on in the year. Um, definitely, definitely going to be start, definitely going to be doing plenty of content on that, uh, such as the Aston Martin career mode, the um, uh, our uh, our um, our F2 career mode when the F2 cars get released in the game. Um, the my team career mode and the uh, poten and potentially if they had the third 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 part the breaking point uh, story mode uh, definitely going to be playing that on the on the channel break So how the series is going to work for the breaking point uh, story mode is we are going to be doing, uh, uh, well if they add the next instalment of, of course, uh, we are going to be doing uh, the first three chapters in the first episode and then and then uh, do, do that kind of format uh, throughout the other episodes. Uh, so. So yeah, really excited about that, and I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone for the incredible support on the channel, everyone that has subscribed, uh, left a like, left comments, you know, it really has been an incredible year for F1 content, I really have enjoyed it, it's been a lot of fun, but um, into the breaking zone we go, oh, come on. Okay, so we're on to lap five of the of the feature race. So we've got four more laps to go here around Abu Dhabi.
We're leading our teammate by 6.1 seconds. Okay, so we so we got so we are so we got a nice lead over our teammate Joe Guan Yu. Uh, where is currently the fastest lap is a one minute fifty four point one. Okay, we'll try that again. Joe has dropped down a place um, by the sounds of it. Round we go. Really am struggling to keep the car on track. So we got so we're on to lap six of eight in the sprint race. So we've got three more laps to go. Okay, break. Ultimate lap of the sprint race. And uh, in terms of other games, we are going to be doing on the channel. Uh, we are going to be getting into some uh, dirt. We are going to be getting into some dirt rally uh, 2.0, some WRC, the EA Sports WRC rally games as well. So yeah, we got so yeah, um, Gran Turismo 7, Gran Turismo Sport. So we got a lot of. A lot of different uh, racing games on the channel. Okay, definitely feel, I can definitely feel the tyres starting to go. too much going into that corner here comes Matsushita he's gonna have a little look for a move gonna try and hold position it's gonna be a very very close fight between myself and the MP Motorsport car to the new layout of of uh, the Abu Dhabi circuit going back to the old circuit just feels really 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 strange I've got to say okay in, 
into the braking zone we go. Okay, it's Matsushita going to look for a move. Tiny mistake, Masushita is going to pounce, he's going to have a little look for a move. Oh, we go deep. <clears throat> okay, we'll give that another go. Oh gosh. Man, this tyre wear. Oh, these tyres are pretty much pretty much gone. Okay. Round we go. We've been all over the place in this race, but it doesn't matter. We are going to come through and we are going to win the final feature race of the season here around the Yas Marina circuit. Get in there. Mick Schumacher picking up driver of the day. And Uni Virtuosi have pulled off a great victory here today. Davide, what did he make the difference here? This race this week was about one thing and one thing for full season. Anyone could be quick for just one lap. But there's a difference between that and being quick every lap, over and over and over. If you can do that, you can gain ground when your opponents make mistakes, but then not make mistakes when you're wrong. You can just push and push. This is it. This is where they all want to be. Here come the top three then, out onto the podium after a fascinating race. And so, driver of the day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? Carlo Martin, for me, he made the difference. He was just the best driver of the day. Over with that result, Uni Virtuosi secure the team's championship title. They have been truly outstanding since the very first round of this thrilling championship. Goodbye for now then, but we really are just getting started. Make sure you join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. So there we go then, the end of the feature race here around Abu Dhabi and Callum and we do take home the win and we do take home the final and we do take home the fastest lap of the race in the final feature race of the season. Uh, Nubahara Masushita, he comes through for P2. Marcus Armstrong finishing third. Jen Derubula in fourth. Robert Schwartzman fifth. Juliana Ralesi in sixth. Joe Guanyu down in seventh. Marina Sato in eighth. Louis Delatraz in ninth and Filippo Drogovic rounding out the top 10. So, let's get into the final sprint race of the season here around the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Here we go. And we're back. After yesterday's feature race, the top eight drivers have been reversed on the grid, setting up some exciting action as we launch into today's event, the sprint race. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid. Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. There are nervy moments. There is no doubt about that. Mental stress is the key to calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive. All of these drivers know going to be pushing each other all of the way. In this point, you have to be able to control your nerves. Right, okay, here we are then, ready for the final feature, uh, ready for the final sprint race of the season here around Abu Dhabi. Of course, we won the final feature race. Can we, end, can we go out on a high note and can we win the sprint race? 
Let's find out. Let's just let's just get straight into it. Here we go. So here we go then. Six laps ahead of us in the sprint. We're starting P8 on the grid. And it is going to be lights out. And away we go. Not a bad start off the line. Ooh, going to be three wide ahead. Jones and Ruben, they're not getting a particularly great exit. Oh, Robert Schwartzman breaking a little bit early, earlier there than anticipated. Can we go for the old switcheroo on the Prima car? And we've done it. Almost, lo almost lost it. Okay, we've got yellow flags up. Out. Uh, cool. I think that's just everyone. Uh, Concertina in up. Okay. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can try and close up to 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 Marcus Armstrong. Okay. Sorry, Marcus. Right, let's uh, let's try that again. Try and have a little look or oh, round the outside. It's probably a bit ambitious. Definitely, definitely go round the outside, around that corner in the new layout of Abu Dhabi. Definitely not in the old. In the old uh, layout, right? Marcus Armstrong, I'm so sorry, mate. I've gone into the back of him twice. But, uh, okay. Good. That really is not good. Damn it. Damn it, man. Okay, come on. Come on. Go, go, go. Okay. That might go for it. Big. Big send there. Okay. Definitely made. Definitely made. It. I was about to say don't hit a lacy but we did. Oh man. Oh come on. New strategy is a what are you What was that? see now, um, not a Lacey, um, Armstrong trying to close up to a Lacey. Okay, round we go. Round 
guy. see try and get in the DRS or I can take out the Rolex board <laughs> oh my gosh okay I'll go wide come on what's our tire wear at 11% wide there. Okay, I think a lacy is definitely there for the taking. Sato with the fastest lap, but we have just taken it away from him. move there. Do we make contact with a lacy? I think I, I think we, I am gonna try that one again because definitely surely surely we've got the move done this time. Come on, put the power down. And we've done it. No, we haven't. Because Lacey's got... Lacey is going to get past us, but we have got the DRS off the Frenchman. Oh, big lock up. Whoa. Almost... Almost... That almost taking us both out of the race. Okay, come on. Okay, now we've just got our teammate to try and close up to. Come on. 
Lewis are on to the penultimate lap of the race. Here around Abu Dhabi. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, DRS has been activated. Don't think we have, we're definitely not going to be close enough to go for a move. Okay. Go for the old switcheroo on our teammate, and we've done it. Nicely done. Trying our best to close up to up to uh, uh, up to uh, Marina Sato. Here we go, the final lap of the sprint race here around Abu Dhabi. Is it going to be Marina Sato taking over the win or is it going to be Kyla Mylon? Sato getting a very very good exit off, off the corner as go round we go but I think Marina Sato is just about Marina Sato, I think, is going to hold on to take the final sprint race victory, and we are going to come through for P2, rounding the final corner. The checkered flag is waiting. Marina Sato, he's going to win, and we take we come through for P2, and we take the bonus point for the fastest lap, and our teammate Joe Guan Yu finishes the season with a podium. Very good result. And we do pick up driver of the day as well, which is good. A great win then for the Trident team today. So, Davide, how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? I think they kept a cool head. That's why they were today. Smooth, steady, everything back. The tap to them, they handled it, calmly and professional. That's what let them focus on getting the best out of everything else. The car, the strategy, they managed to keep on the travel the whole way out. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations and it's going to be Trident picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for coming out on top in that amazing race. Now then, Davide Valsecchi, who would you say was your driver of the day? I choose uh, Carlo Mario, the English driver. He was 
so aggressive today, he made the difference just in there. With that result, Uni Virtuosi secure the team's championship title. They have been truly outstanding since the very first round of this thrilling championship. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from ART this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. And after all that excitement, I think it's time for a lie down. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you when Formula 2 returns. So, there we go then. Uh, the sprint race does come to a close. The final sprint race of the season does come to a close. And it is Marina Sato that does take home the win. Uh, he, did, uh, he did start on pole and he won the race. We come through for P2. Uh, and we take home the bonus point for the fastest lap. Our teammate Joe Guan Yu rounding out the podium finishes in third. Juliana Balesi in fourth. Marcus Armstrong fifth. Robert Schwartzman sixth. Jen de Rubila seventh and Nubahara Masushita rounding out rounding out the points finishers in the sprint race. So looking at the final championship standings, we win the championship with we finish three three hundred and seventy three points clear of Masushita in P two. Robert Schwartzman finishing in third, two points clear of Pedro PK in fourth. Dan Tickton finishing the season in fifth, two one point clear of Nikita Mazepin down in sixth. Juliana Malesi finishing 7th, Jan Derubula finishing in 8th, Felipe Drogovic finishing down in 9th, Christian Lungard down in 10th, Marcus Armstrong down in 11th, Jack Aitken down in 12th, Luca Giotto finishing in 13th, Marina Sato finishing in 14th, Joe Guan Yu finishing in 15th, Heather Mick Schumacher down in 16th, Yuki Sonoda in 17th, Guillaume Samaya in 18th, Louis Delatraz 19th, uh, Artem Markalov in 20th, Roy Nassani in 21st, and it was just Sean Galeo who did not score points this season. But looking at the final championship standings, we win the team's champ, we win the constructors' championship or the team's championship. 331 points clear of MP Motorsport in P2, High Tech GP in third, Prima fourth, ART finishing in fifth. Level one points with Sharus. Wow, so they obviously finished fifth on count back. Uh, Sharu's finishing down in 6th, Dams in 7th, Carl in 8th, uh, BWT HWA Race Lab in 9th, Campos Racing 10th and Trident finishing in last place down in 11th. But that is going to be the end of this episode and the end of this series. Thank you all so much for watching uh, this, uh, this video if you guys have enjoyed it and if you guys have enjoyed this series make sure you guys drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it make sure you subscribe for more and next time out we will be starting our brand new f1 2021 mclaren career mode uh we're going to be back driving the formula 2 cars we are going to be driving for carlin and trying our best to secure a seat at mclaren for the 2021 season so yeah we'll see you guys for the first episode of the f1 2021 mclaren career mode very soon